Hey everybody, this is Peter. <clears throat> In this video segment, we're going to do a standalone McAfee hips installation. Now, a lot of you are going to ask, well, Pete, you already have a <clears throat> McAfee hips installation, and I do. Um, the only thing is we don't, we have it basically currently from the EPO management server. Um, and the r only reason I'm doing this short video is because I was browsing through the McAfee uh, forums on their support site the other day, and a lot of people were arguing that this can't be done. That you can't install hips as a standalone, um, and I basically want to prove that they're wrong. That you can do it, um, and I also had a couple of buddies of mine install this in standalone and say, well, it, it never installs. And basically, after a minute or two, they kind of just reboot their system and say, well, it didn't install. And the reason is, is essentially there's no next, next, next install. It's kind of silently in the background. Um, and I'm going to show you guys that right now. So let's go. First thing you got to do, and this is another thing that people fail to realize, you have to install the McAfee agent to do this. The McAfee agent is essentially the the core of everything McAfee. Um, anything that runs on a, on a, on a workstation <coughs> is... Um, runs on the McAfee agent. So we just installed that. You saw that. I double clicked it when you didn't have to do anything. I've just double clicked the HIPS EXE and this is what we're going to install now. And you'll notice now, you know, you get the install shield wizard, you know, and it goes through the whole thing and you're sitting there and this is where people get confused. They're like, well, where is it? What's happening? They don't understand. This goes on for about, you know, almost two minutes, maybe 90 seconds, a minute and a half. Um, and I'm not going to show you that obviously, but this is where people get confused. They sit here and they're like, is it installing? Now that is a key sign right there that you just saw, that little bleep in the screen that it did install. Okay, and that basically essentially kills the connection as the actual drivers are being installed into the network card. Okay, and it brings it back. So we're still sitting here. A lot of people keep sitting, don't know what's going on, don't know what's going on. This is another 60 seconds of waiting, and then there you go. It pops up into the bottom there, as you can see. I'm right clicking, we go to about, and you'll see the McAfee Host Intrusion Prevention 7.0. And I'll just pop up the GUI quickly, the configuration GUI. Nice and simple. There it is, guys. So you can install it. You can manage it as a standalone installation. Um, and don't lose hope. And don't reboot your system. Just let it sit there for a few minutes. It does install. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for coming out. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.